Woody's, Woody linked us to a transgender athlete beating the pants off of a bunch of uh, white it's a girls. Pretty here. good topic, I think. I, uh, there's oh, a no. video. There's a video, and like, you know, it's the video is shot from beyond the finish line of the of the hundred uh, meter uh, line, so that he can get them coming right at the camera. One second into this person's eleven point seven two second run, I was like, "Oh, that's the man." Yeah. There he is. There he is. It's the one who runs like Usain Bolt, surrounded by white girls. <laughs> like, 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 just, is that just at the destroyed. beginning of the race? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I... Yeah. It, well, I mean, the whole race is there. Like, like it's twenty-seven second video that you scroll down. Dude, the Dude, girl the place, uh, has girl. a full-on mustache. Like, have you scrolled down past the video and and look at the close-up of the girl? Yeah, I have. That's 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 pretty legit. It's oh, you're right. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> I don't know something about that. Like this isn't. I guess if it's a somehow if they're, I'll call it gender confused, gender fluid. I don't know what to call them, and they're really feminine and skinny and like a soy boyish type thing. Then I'm a little. <laughs> I'm not accepting, but I'm closer to it. This is a dude. This is a guy with a mustache. It is, you have got to be livid as the second place girl in this race, where you're just like, are you shitting me? Been training my ass off for this, trying to be the best, and then I just get blown the fuck out by this this person? Like, I would be upset. Same with that wrestling one, where you saw, like, the, the wrestling trans uh, trans woman fighting the, the woman, and just beating the shit out of her. Like, not, 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 not even <laughs> close. Like, it, brutalizing this person. Yeah, I would... That's got to piss biological women off quite a bit. I, I, I can't imagine how people can agree with this. Like, like either if I were competing, I would, I would refuse to compete. Like, like, like I feel like everyone should just, should just strike and be like, well, we're not coming to the race if we have to race against that guy. You know, are like, there like, enough trans if there was people a, to make their own league? Let me just say this: or if probably uh, not. for those of you who are in, in the Star Trek, if there was a Klingon who who suddenly <laughs> joined the wrestling team. And, I'd be like, whoa, 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 this is the human boys team. <laughs> I refuse to wrestle against fucking Worf over there. Look at look at those cranial ridges. That is a an enormous motherfucker. Like the, he killed two men before he got here today. Like he's a Klingon <laughs> warrior. I will not wrestle him. That's not fair. Yeah. As a big yeah. uh, as a big pro trans person, maybe the only person in here. I don't know. Um, this is a really dumb wedge issue that that needs to die. I don't think it's fair that um, trans people compete in in athletic activities with with non trans people. It's just there's it's too dumb. I think this yeah, is an I'm issue pro trans. That, like if you want, yeah. I'm sure. If, yeah, if you're an adult and you want to do it, it's your freedom. I, well, I'm, no, not even as an adult. Like it's not fair for, from from like generally. So getting way off into my SJWS views, I don't have like these rigid concepts of, of gender and all this shit that, that like an average person might or a normal conservative American might. But when, when it comes to like athletic stuff, we do have to address some biological realities of, of strengths that are given to different genders. And it's not really fair to take somebody that's had all the biological advantages of a male, whether it's via bone density or testosterone or whatever, in their early training to then take these guys, transition them to um, be a woman, which is great if that's what you want to do, but then to have them athletically compete with people that have had to train their whole lives as, as women that's not uh, yeah I don't, i'm not i'm really uncomfortable like the, with that. the hand size of a man is not going to change no matter how many you know hormones you're taking so if they're doing a combat sport having a big man ha sized hand like that's it's really not a fair advantage yeah know? once once you've gone through puberty a lot of those things are kind of set now maybe like prepubescent there's a little bit more room to talk but like post pubescent like you've gotten a lot of advantages from being a male athletically that yeah, it's yeah you've like got the male shoulders the male arms like you're kind of built to throw like in a way that women just aren't like not sure. not yeah. it's like a it was fallon fox that was her name mm -hmm. uh, right yeah who the trans woman who beat the shit out of uh, biological women broke one of their orbital bones one of the quotes from the one of the women that the trans woman fought she was like, I'm, I'm one of the strongest women I know. I'm, a, I'm an unusually strong woman. And the feeling of my wrist in Fallon Fox's grip, I couldn't get out of it. It was a strength like I've never felt. <laughs> and it was like, that's what she literally said. That. She's like, it was a strength that I've never felt. And it's like this poor woman getting, you know, grabbed and then just a big man hand caving in the side of her head. I mean, we've all beaten a woman before. We know how easy it is. Yeah. Right? Like, like. Sometimes two or three at once. I've got a picture of Fallon Fox on the screen for the viewers. And yet she just has 
guy she's in a bikini and she has boobs uh, but she has a guy's broad shoulders and a guy's can i see the picture because that sounds that sounds pretty hot yeah sounds pretty hot. google let's links see. i think this will work oh yeah let's mm. see let's see Fallon that's Fox. A yeah big boy that, it's man shoulders and man arms and man hands. Oh, and she's and got some big boobs. Like she, she, he doesn't. She. I guess I'll say she. She doesn't have like the the woman's curve shape around her hips. The athletic male V shape. That's what. what you're that's what she does have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. She went pretty big with those uh, with those boobies. She did. Yeah. She was not messing around. She's got me beating the Adam's apple department. <laughs> <laughs> Big strong neck. Those hands look bigger than mine. Well, I mean, like fighting for a living and doing a bunch of weight training and stuff probably helps with that. I don't think your hands are swelling up and like getting getting. I mean, I get, your hands get muscular, but those are some big fucking hands. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. skeletal structure isn't going to get larger in yeah. response to resistance training, right? Your bones might get denser, but your hands won't get like physically bigger. Well, I would not want to fight that that person. Um, that no. Would, Beat the shit out of me. I'm not, I'm yeah. not jumping in that ring. Absolutely. How much does uh, she weigh? What's what's her weight class? Uh, I'll have to Google it. She was booted from everything, right? Like nobody is. I don't oh, know. Five, She's five, seven, one forty three. Yeah, one forty three. That's that is the biggest class. Yeah. I, I don't women. know of any women that fight. Well, I know one, but it, yeah, one forty five is the biggest normal limit. Yeah, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I'm fine with I'm, I, 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 I usually shade on the side of the libertarian beliefs, and so it's just kind of like, ah, you want to do that? Do it, do it, it do whatever you want to do. Uh, you know, our our apocalypse list aside of people who need to put, be put to death. That's all for shits and giggles. <laughs> but in, in reality, you know, it's do whatever you want to do until it starts affecting my rights. Uh, you, you know what I mean? And, and and this definitely seems some, you know, if you're a competitor in a in a in a sport. Uh, you know, I, I've competed at, at like super duper amateur level as a kid. And it's like, I, I can't imagine if someone was like, uh, I was like, wait, that's a grown man on the other team. Yeah, yeah, but he identifies as a 12 year old. That's that's Chipper Jones. He plays for the Atlanta Braves. <laughs> yeah, but he, uh, he identifies as a 12 year old. He, uh, 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 hit home run after home run and was just fielding an entire the side of the infield. You. You'd be yeah. like, why even compete? Yeah, I quit. Yep. I would definitely quit if there were a, um, uh, if I were a girl and there were uh, a, a trans person competing in my field and just stomping us all. Now, if it were yeah. close, that might be a badge of honor that, yeah, I, I, I beat that, that giant girl yeah, over there, too. Yeah, but the fact too. that it would be a badge of honor shows that it's really not that fair. Right, yeah. you know, and people like I've heard people say like, "Oh, Fallon Fox, she lost some fights." That shows that it is actually one fair. Fight. It's like, no, it's showing. Oh, lost one fight. Thank you, Woody. It's like, no, that's showing that this person isn't even that good of a fighter, and they're leveraging this strength over these more technically sound women in order to win just by brute force in yep. a lot of situations. Like that's sure. like no and matter sure how good their technique is, it's like, what the fuck? I can't move in this grip. Yeah, and there there are probably some like adv like high 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 level women fighters that can be like medium or low 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 tier like MMA fighters. Like I'm sure that exists, you know. Like women demand. I, yeah, I don't like think like any female fighter could beat a male UFC fighter. Well, like the, the, you don't think like the highest tier woman fighter could find like the lowest tier like MMA fighter and maybe be able to like not like so, consistently but could take a win off of them or something. I don't know. So the highest tier would be like Chris Cyborg. She fights at 145 pounds and she's. Mm -hmm. Very What's big, very muscular. Just an example. Oh, you would not. You would have to get a much smaller man. Conor there McGregor. Are no, <laughs> Conor McGregor fights at 145 sometimes. Like the the guys who fight at Max 145 Holloway. are terrifying beasts. Like, oh, like the, yeah, maybe like, not them. Yeah, and like the the smallest class uh, of men. What is it's 135, right? Is that where Mighty uh, Mouse is, 25. or is it 125? Yeah. I just. He I don't know. Maybe the rush him. Well, yeah. What about like the worst guy in Mighty Mouse's division if he fights Cyborg? Like, I, yeah, that's I that's what know. I'm thinking. I'm just like saying that, like, you know, even if you do have like a massive advantage, you could still lose like a fight or two. Like, I don't think so, honestly. Like, 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 I'll say this: Chris Cyborg would beat the shit out of most average Man. men yeah. who are walking around. Yeah, who I, don't know I, how to I, fight. She beat the shit out of me. Uh, like, I'm 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 taller than her, but I'm nowhere near on her strength level and expertise level. She just beat me to death. She could literally kill me with her bare hands. 
Yeah, she'd know all the right combos, all the right moves. Like yeah. even if you were stronger, <laughs> would be you that. Know, she, just, she would grab my ass and take me down to the ground, and she'd <laughs> hit me in the head till I was dizzy, and then she'd choke <laughs> me down <to> dead. <laughs> until I was dead. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what would happen if I fought Chris Cyborg. And yeah. I think that's what would happen if most of us fought Chris Cyborg. I wonder See, where I w- along the lines, like, a regular man could start competing with, it, like, a UFC-level woman. I don't know. It, it, a fight in, like, a, uh, like in the hallway of a house, I think that, that, that like, some, some differences start taking place. Like, he, he grabs her wrists, and it's like, what are you going to do now? You know, and like, and if he gets her, like, a bear hug and he gets on top of her, like, you know, uh, uh, all the expertise in the world doesn't matter if if the person outweighs you by seventy five pounds. Yeah, and they're somewhere maybe. along the way. I think, it, way I think it, it depends on the it depends on the discipline a lot, though, right? Like if you're talking about like just straight like strikes, you know, like a, a really big person is going to be scary. But there are um, like things like BJJ and shit for a lot of the grappling stuff. Smaller people can do some pretty shockingly surprising stuff. Yeah, but there's a limit to it. At, sure. At, at a certain point, like. And and the other thing is like the this hypothetical man who's attacking a, a BJJ woman mm-hmm. in a hallway isn't following the rules of jujitsu. <laughs> you know, yeah, sure. I, I just like um, we I, we have these conversations on streams and it's really interesting. Like what um, what works in the streets in terms of fighting? And I'm sure a million people have these conversations, you know. And um, it seems like you've got like a lot of like really fancy cool shit that works in maybe a UFC ring or whatever. But when it comes to the streets, the two things that when we went through a fuck ton of videos, just seeing how people fight, um, the two things that seem to work reliably are grappling. Where like um, I don't know if you've seen the video of there's a guy in a McDonald's. This dude looked pretty tall. This guy must have been like 170, and this guy takes down this like drunk dude that's like 300. It's a white pounds. guy, right? Maybe wearing yeah. it's a slow takedown and green shorts. I know the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah th- but that that big guy, like looking at that fight before the video, I would have said like you can know all the grappling in the world. This guy is 100 pounds of you. Like he's just gonna sit on you. But he actually took that dude down mm-hmm. and like had him like in submission, and that shocked me. Um, so it seems like the grappling shit is it actually has like real world application. And then boxing, because if you punch somebody quick and fast in the face, like they just go right the fuck down. That seems yeah. like the two things that that help Absolutely. the most. Absolutely, I would agree with that assessment. And and yeah. like it's it's those are the those are two the two core disciplines that are trained in mixed martial arts. Really, like there's a lot of other you know Muay Thai and Taekwondo and stuff definitely comes into play. But those yeah, are but really like, they're really picking and in choosing. Real life. Like I've uh-huh. never seen, I've never seen a video. It's possible to happen, but I've never seen a street fight video where somebody does like a fancy kick or something. Yeah, you've never seen like a head kick something. from like never. one of those uh, parking lot Cowboy security Cerrone cams. head kicked a guy <laughs> yeah. from the lake and knocked him the fuck out. Like, like, like. Is it on video? No, no, but he's he going to go to court. He's going to go to court. Maybe, yeah. But like, you you can find videos of like, especially the boxers of like one dude taking out like three or four or like two dudes like bam bam like right in a row like that shit is fucking crazy. But anything more complicated than that, I've never seen. The video. Seems Even to you work. remember that uh, that bus guy from years ago, like the old white guy with yeah, the tucked yeah, in yeah, blue epic shirt, beard man. yeah, epic beard man. And there was this much younger, you know, similarly sized guy who was at the front, the black guy, and they were like in an guy. argument. Uh, yeah, uh, ambulance guy. A- Amber lamps, and, yeah. And he just gets, like, like, and this guy wasn't even a fighter. Like, apparently he just knew, like, basic stuff that he learned in the military. Like, just basic kind of fighting and, like, maybe a couple classes. And he struck that guy so fast. Like, knocked his ass out in the front of that bus. He's 30 years older than the guy he was fighting. Still won. Yeah, he, it was, like, 65 that, that, versus 35 or something. Uh, yeah. I think the black guy was fairly old. I, I don't remember the numbers, but mm. I, I want to say the black guy was, like, 50, and the, I just, and the white guy was, like, 70 or something. But it, it, I love that video. Looking this that. up now, it kind, of, <laughs> it kind of looks like the, the black dude was just... I'm not listening to it, because I'm not going to un- unmute you guys, but, like, it kind of looks like the black dude was just, like, kind of trying to start shit, but the white dude was, like, fucking ready to go hard. That seems to be the big difference here. Like, I don't think that black guy was ever ready to actually fight anybody. But when that old white dude stands up, he's like ready to go. Because yeah. the black dude just like puts his hand up and he's like, I'm done already. <laughs> yeah, like shit. two punches in and then they go up afterward and you see like, you're like, oh, he just knocked him down a bit. Blood all over the blue seats of the bus. Yeah. And Call to ambulance. Like, off in shame. Yeah. Call to ambulance. <laughs> oh, that's uh, great. I love street fight videos. I love street fight videos. I wish they would uh, bring back bum fights. We've spoken about that many times, but please. Oh. You know, whatever producer out there has plenty of money and no ethics. Really? Bring back bump fighting. Bump fights, I really feel like, is just softcore felony fights. Felony fights is where it's at. Dude, I don't, I don't like felony, the felony fights. fights. Too. Oh, it's right. a little too intense. When that You're guy a little soft-hearted, you two. Yes. Dude, I, when that guy bit the guy in the face, that turned me off so much. Yeah. I, was, I, was like, I was like, he's not even biting till submission. 
You know, it's it's it, he's biting for because he wanted to bite this. He's man. trying like, to like, remove yeah. a piece of cheek. It he's seems. hungry. Have, have you ever seen, heard of those videos, Steve? The felon fights. I don't think so. I've, I, I, it's oh. possible I've seen one, but didn't know what it was because I've seen like a lot of like the online fighting videos. Unless yeah, these guys aren't even fighting like for money. It's like there's two thirty packs of natty, and they're willing <laughs> to murder each other in some you know reservoir, you know drained out reservoir. And one of the crazy guys goes to the other dude before and even says he's like, "I'm gonna bite your face, I'm gonna bite your face," and they start fighting. And then at the end of it, he gets on top of the dude. It's over. The guy's tapping, trying to get out, and the guy leans in bites like a chunk of this guy's cheek like hard and the the formerly hard guy who's on the ground pinned with his cheek being bit is now going oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and the yeah, these, biter is growling like the, the biter is like is going on. did you find it? growling link it <laughs> these guys use like weapons and shit i'm watching um, this. the <laughs> weapons don't last <laughs> long it stick. turns it into, like, again with weapons. <laughs> if you're not familiar with stick fighting it turns into grappling almost immediately like in, in there's stick fighting leagues and stuff out there <laughs> And these guys, uh, you know, the like the meta, clear, he doesn't even want to yeah. use the stick. The cheek biter is, it doesn't even want the stick. He just wants to tackle right. He just in. wants to get right into the carnivore fucking. <laughs> he needs those natties. Like, oh, <laughs> man. He needs his bush life. right into the cannibalism. Okay. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was a great series. Someone bring that back. <laughs> is this like a YouTube series or was this on TV like Jackass or what? I don't know oh, how it happens. This, this is a dark corner of the Internet kind of series. Um, okay. Yeah, this is definitely not anything that was sanctioned by uh, any major network or anything is, like that.